where you check on the map before going, you see just green and a lot of contour lines. That's a bit worrisome, yeah. Bummed. I was seriously bummed. And it looked gnarly. Mm. You think I'm crazy? <laughs> there are three publications that provided some inspiration and information for our adventure. A book written by Jeff Spearpoint called The Great Unknown about mountain journeys in the Southern Alps. The second publication is the New Zealand Alpine Journey Amazing journey from Arthur's Pass all the way through to the Divide. Uh, Moyer's Guide North. Brewster. Mount Brewster. That is. Where is it? Our planned route was to start at the Haas Pass lookout, head up onto the main divide, and to follow that round behind Lindsay Peak, uh, over the Keystone, over Mount Burke. Uh, along over Mount Cameron down into the northern uh, um, branch of the Blue then to follow the Blue River up and to head up over Haunted Spur down into the Young where we would join up with the Gillespie Pass circuit and go over the pass and down the, the Wilkin. What do you love about being in the mountains? Well keeps my brain a lot of freedom. What do you love about being in the mountains? I love the freedom of just being in the outdoors. You've got a small backpack on your back that's got everything that you need. You've got food, you've got shelter, and it's just such a great sense of adventure. So highlight of the trip, it was being on the tops, um, mostly getting on the tops, seeing them from the distance and thinking from the distance that we would have never been able to go up there because they look very gnarly and intimidating. So then being able to be actually there on those ridges was the highlight. Our highlight of the trip was camping up on the tops. Uh, on Friday night we were up high, right over the top of the, the fish valley, and in the morning we were woken up, you know, listening to the listening to the deer roaring. It was just you know, spectacular, spectacular sunrise, amazing spot. Feeling of this sort of connection to the land, um, you know, quite a kind of a special feeling of kind of contentedness, um, sitting quietly on a on a ridge top, you know, looking at looking at a valley system. It, it's probably hard to explain, but it's probably my sort of church, <laughs> if you hear me. I love the sense of kind of uh, open space and being above everything um, and um, the yeah and being away from everything kind of so you, this, this I think the kind of the, the grandeur of kind of being up above kind of is quite a um, so it, it makes it gives you good buzz. The bit above the blue, uh, because I've I've um, flown over the country once in, in my friend's little bush plane that we used to do a lot of a lot of fun stuff in, um, and it looked gnarly. The low point of your trip. Uh, we had a section where we were like, bush fighting <laughs> to get down the uh, northern branch of the blue. You know, when we got to the bush line, we were having to you know, crawl through a whole lot of mossy stuff down a really steep mossy gully, you know, bush bash uh, through, so that was, that was, that was pretty, pretty low.
all the route. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, well, no, of course, usually not worried, but I'm a bit concerned when it's off track, what does not track, so it was a good chunk of this uh, route. And mostly it was uh, the parts, you know, when when you check on the map before going, you see just green and a lot of contour lines. That's a bit worrisome. Yeah. Crackers. Cheese and crackers, you know, just yeah. yum. yum. And we stopped at the top of uh, Gillespie Pass and ate cheese and crackers. That was very nice. Sort of an underlying motive or kind of um, to get up to Crucible Lake. So I was going to try to kind of uh, get all of you, you know, to agree to go up there because I'd seen photos kind of and I thought, wow, you know, it looks like an awesome glacier lake and kind of, I've never been to a glacier lake, so I was kind of quite looking forward to um, possibly going up there. How did you feel uh, when you couldn't go due to COVID? Bummed. I was seriously bummed. Gutted. I, I was packed. I, I had stuff in the car, um, and had, had told the kids that morning I was off, and they were all they were all excited for me. So.